open everyone wrong I won't stop to the top so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can never Before we begin uh, talking about this um, Cause we already did a part one on this topic So this is part two, but before we do begin this um, I would like to say this I learned a long time ago about this cougar lion and the cougar lion is normally a, a very calm creature. It's very calm. It, it tends to its business. It, it really it shows no threat to humans, but there's times when the cougar could see the humans and they look at them as prey because in their eyesight, the bicycles, if they're mountain climbing or, you know, riding their bicycles, they look like prey to them. So they look like little animals. And seeing what they do is once they bite you and they start an attack, they do not stop until it's done. And when I think about that with the determination that I've seen, this cougar have it showed no mercy it's seen it's seen these people coming from a mile away they never knew anything and once it attacked it did great harm but it was in it was in sections as if it knew what it really wanted to do so it didn't just go and it just attack and kill right straight in. It it was on top of the mountain and seen they seen their victim, looked at it. Oh, okay, I see you. Scared them. Let them know. Let it be known that I'm in the area. And so they're not paying no attention to it. And before you know it, it attacks. And it went back and back until they completed what needed to be completed, which was death. And I say that to say that Carla, this is something she did because she was broken, hurt. And to her, she had all the determination. She just had everything going that she needed. But the part that I guess she wouldn't understand is this. Love is a chemistry base, so you just can't pounce on something and feel like you can tear it up and mess it up and there be no actions, no anything. It does not mean that someone is going to be for you and love you. Now, I'm pretty sure she's sitting in that prison cell thinking a thousand and maybe ten times out the day, if not going mental. Why did I do this? Because now this man is in a whole nother state. It only took him a year to do this. And that's it. But I can imagine Ava meeting her. Could you just imagine not knowing someone and you're pregnant and your defense level is at low? It's very low when you don't know what's going on. But it's because your enemy was the freaking cougar and you're sleeping next to one so for every single body that feels like i'm cheating for fun please understand that everything comes with a price everything can't be that easy so we're gonna get on with this discussion Hey guys, welcome back to the CNJ show. And I have my favorite Jen and Juice here, my sister Neek. And this, and well, before I say that, we hope that you guys are having a good day today. And this is part two with the whole Keon Pittman. And guys, you guys are going to hear it raw. It ain't going to be no editing because Jen and Juice is going to take the stand. Her and my sister Neek. And she's going to, they just going to go ahead on and just tell it how it is. Now, Jen and Juice. When we last did this video, it was some things we did not discuss. But you, mm -hmm. from day one, felt as if Keon Pittman had something to do with that. 
Now, before I yes. ask you that, Meek, what did you feel? I felt kind of both ways. I kind of felt like maybe he didn't have anything to do with it because, like, okay, well, why would he do that? Do you get what I mean? And then they already had proof that the other lady had killed her or whatever. I just thought that she, like, Carla just was so angry. Like, she took that upon herself to do it. Like, he didn't tell her to. That she just did it. So just, I didn't really feel like he had anything to do with it as far as setting her, setting it up. But more or less like, okay, messing around with two women. And you got somebody feelings involved. So Okay, so you just felt like, okay, he just... Okay, so you just felt like he didn't do it, but it was a jacked up situation. But right, this was right. all on her. Now, Jen and Juice, mm -hmm. you felt day one... He had something to do with it. So, yeah. if you felt that way, mm -hmm. do you think that Carla mm -hmm. would be that dumb to now murder someone mm -hmm. who's pregnant, mm -hmm. knowing that he has something to do with the Indian, don't even mention his name in it at all, like she didn't say anything? Yep. I think it happens all the time. You have these women that are blindly in love with men. And they don't care. They're going to stick it out with they. You have to understand, like, for a person to kill for somebody else's love or affection or just, you know, just the feeling of they'll be the only one, there's a mental disconnect somewhere because yeah. somebody that is rational and they have all of they, their sense about them, they're not going to do that. You can't pay me enough money. I don't care how in love I am with you to go kill somebody else. You want them dead, kill them yourself. Because I'm not yeah. going to jail for you. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of times when you you have, you know, depression, he's with another woman. So that's going to, you know, of course, play on that. You have self-esteem issues. You have a, you had another guy left you at the altar. And here it is. This guy is about to get married again to somebody else. You have all of these, you know, worthless feelings that are going on in your head and because they play on your brain so much you feel like it's true yeah. although a lot of times these things don't be true you you turn into a crazy person yeah and it's so, nothing you wouldn't do for this person now let me ask y'all this so we all don't watch snap now i'm not saying that you know we watch snap so would this be like a case when they say this is like a passion like for a minute yeah. Because before this happened, and she moved to Mississippi, we do have to understand. First of all, this this lady is a leech. I don't I don't know. She's a leech when it comes down to love. She wants the person to be right there. She wants to suck the living blood and everything out of them. Which normally, when you do that to a man or to anybody too soon, they're they're probably gonna go. They're gonna mm -hmm. they're gonna mm -hmm. leave. Mm -hmm. Go to the border. They're not going to be there. So, in her own state of mind, would you say at some point, being that she's very smart, you know, she did a lot of things, all this good stuff, then she gets, she's a blood sucker, um, get to the altar, ready to get married, the guy don't even show up. They say that was the last thing that really did have her just devastated altogether. Now, all of this stuff has happened. Then I didn't even know that this girl was 25 at the time that this did take place. I thought she was in her 30s or something. I guess that was just one of the pictures she was looking so bad. <laughs> but um, I said, said is all that stuff happened. Now, they say a passion of love, crime, or whatever. Do they still, do they dismiss it? Or they say, okay, this was that act, so it was okay because you slept. Nah. Mm -hmm. Now, how do that work? I just think, I just think, think it gives you a motive. That's yeah. the motive. Yeah, that's the motive. And also, like, in, in terms of the way they're going to charge, you know, it won't be a premeditated. Um, no, that makes it premeditated. No, a, no, when it's a crime of passion, like, you can just come somewhere and then you blank out. You get what oh. I'm saying? So, a lot of times with, you know, passion, cr crimes of passion, where you black out and you stab somebody 50 something times or you. You get what I'm saying? Something but I, like that. But I feel like it could go either way, yeah, though, because it it's like, way. I think the thing that separates first degree from second degree murder is, did you come there with the intent of killing somebody? That's true. Yeah. That's first degree versus second degree. Okay, you didn't come there trying to kill. It wasn't on your mind. It just happened. Yeah, yeah. Doing One that. thing led to another, and it happened. Yeah. And then when those things happen, you always have to keep in mind, why was the gun with you when it happened? 
Okay. Right, right. No, but definitely, and then I'm pretty sure for her, because you know, yeah, you're right. I will take that back because she wait. You said she did wait. To, did she? You said she was waiting on the lady to come home. Yeah, she for, waited for two hours. For or her something? two hours. Now, being yeah. now, when I get a sense of looking at Avis Banks' parents, they seem like a very nice couple. And what I gathered, because she is the baby, mm. she's the baby, um, baby. With them, that she was working at the daycare, she was working on getting her, I guess, licensed daycare center, but she was pregnant, so she was working on getting that. And I believe since she knew that Keon was um, staying late to school for the basketball practice, she probably went to her mom's house. Mm -hmm. And, you know, waited around for a little bit, like, okay, I'll leave maybe 30 minutes later, sooner he'll be home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this this dummy here, she decides to wait. Mm -hmm. But I'm just thinking, how you even got in the house? Like, I know you probably broke she in, probably but what, what right. did you she do? Probably, probably, she probably right Because this walked. happened in the garage. Yeah, she probably walked right in. and the garage. Yeah, yeah, but she probably wasn't, the girl probably wasn't even paying attention, because sometimes you just pulling in and... You're moving slow. It's been a long day. and mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You take your time. Yeah, no, I know. Avis wasn't, you know, of course, she's not expecting that. You're five months pregnant. You you were basically almost to the finish line. You're having your little, you know, whatever. Not complications, but you are starting to feel the baby and growth and all the other kind of stuff upon you. But I'm saying with Carla, how did you even get these people in, in the house? She, I think, you know, if she came in through the garage, you know, some people pull into their garage, they don't close the, the thing. It right could be that. She could have knocked the lady, could have let her in because you were, you know, a young. No, she was in there when Avis came. She, oh, she was, was already, already there. there. She was oh. already there waiting for her. Oh, what? You yes. see, and this is why the neighbor said something was, remember the last time we mm. did speak on it, the neighbor said something was kind of fishy because he normally don't really i guess he don't park inside of the garage he normally just park in the driveway but this time here i guess that's something that he did do so it was okay he normally don't do this and so did he let her in he this shows that he still was at school he still oh. was at the basketball practice he still mm -hmm. was at, at school so um yeah. So how does exactly do because don't garages you have to have like a, 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 a fob or a clicker or something. To come in. So when like when your car, you know, it like on your car, so that way when you pull it in it'll open up or something like that. Like how do you unless you just got out and press the button, is it like an old fashioned garage? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know how she was able to do it, but they did to say. Now I did read where they were saying he I guess before start noticing she's doing too much so he just like never left, left like okay that's enough after he got the cookies out the cookie jar and she started to just be a stalker follow him and let him know like him was end up telling the girl about us and mm -hmm. so for that that kind of do make me feel like and maybe he didn't really have nothing to do with it so so much because he tried to Even let more. it be with her yeah, I just it, don't I mean, see them. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he knew something like this was going to happen. Or he had a feeling based on how crazy she was getting towards the end. Yeah, you always yeah. know. You so, always know. he probably was scared too, no? I think so. I, I think I, I think a lot. I think it does look fishy for people outside looking in. But you got to think if you're in that type of situation, you're with somebody that you're about to marry you're with somebody that you are expecting your first child from. You bought a um, house um, together and stuff like that. So for them to be murdered along with your child, your firstborn child, of course, that's not like, you know, to be around in those areas and, you know, still in the neighborhood in the same state or same city, yeah. mm -hmm. that's a very traumatic situation. And if and you go into the, the type family of therapy. also, you know, having to find out my daughter... Cause I, I couldn't, honestly, God forbid, there's no in the world that I could um, live in the same place or even understand it, that you are the cause for one of my kids' death. Because you went and cheated, and here it is, two months later, y'all supposed to be getting married. Yeah, no, for There sure. will be nothing for no, me. No, definitely. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, like, you know, you have a lot of regret and a lot of remorse. You're a young guy, and... 
you know what I mean? You just playing this this game and 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 thinking, you know, you just doing what men do. You know yeah. what I mean? So you you're not thinking nobody's gonna be physically hurt from it because you thinking like, okay, I'm taking care of home. You know, my my fiance is. But Nick, respond. let me let me ask you this: Do you think he should have seen the red flags when this lady decided to write him notes and pass it to the kids to give to him? Of course, I'm pretty sure he noticed it was a red flag, but it's just, you know, of course that's a red flag for people. Of course he knew, I mean, I feel like then he probably already knew, that's probably why he tried to break it off with her, like, completely, because it's like, okay, you out of line, like, I can't, you get what I mean? Because, for one, you could have me to lose my job if they, you know, if work finds out and gets around the wrong person, and, you know, you can't have these type of things going on in school. And why are you giving it to At the work? kids, though? Yeah, but that's that's I think she had then got Crazy. And, you know, I think it's a bad case of, um, like, fatal, those, attraction. Uh, fatal attraction, obsessed, thin line between love and hate, all of these different movies where the women just literally go over the edge and they become stalkers and they make your life, you know, turn your life upside down. Yeah. You know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, he may not have had nothing to do with it. He probably knew that if anything happens to his fiance, she did it. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. that type of way. Mm -hmm. But then, so would you say this though with with Carla because mm -hmm. she's she just I don't know. Um, well, would you say she was mental? Like she got mental. Or this was like that last thing that had to work. No, it had to be something mental. I think it had no, to be. No, I don't think so. I, th I feel like, you know why I feel like it was something I mental? Think... I feel like the reason why it, it had to be mental, because for one. But wait, Nick, for you, let me ask you this. Now, I know mental, now, when we say mental, mental just don't come up one day. Mental got to come from I think a time of abuse yeah, yeah, over a time. something happening. Yeah, but I feel like she was having a mental breakdown, right? I don't feel, and I, she had to be some level of de of depressed i feel like you know some level of you know just an unhealthy anxiety levels and anger and you know just different things that she didn't know how to deal with right so yes i do feel like in order for you to do that in general you have to be like not in a good mental space like you get what i mean so i don't feel like no i don't feel like she's crazy where she shouldn't be able to that to take her time as she should yeah, she should be charged uh, accordingly, but I do feel like, you know, that's why you can't play around with people as far as, like, dating them, and yeah. you got this perfect life at home. Meanwhile, you sleeping with her, and you send her to a miserable life. She's home alone. She, you know, she wants this life that you have with somebody else, and, you know, who's going to pay the price? It's either going to be you, or it's either going to be your fiancé. Yeah. You know, at some point. Because she don't, at this, she don't got anything to lose. Because you're not giving her anything. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, so, before we end this, let me just ask y'all this. Okay. Now, do you think, at some point in time, do you think, um, for this to happen in this way, do you think she did not know about Avis, like they, she didn't even know that he had somebody. She didn't know what what no, degree was, and she, she knew. She so you think she knew. knew it from the get go? She knew, and rather she sneaking knew from, and passing notes. You yeah, know. she knew what exactly what it was. I just think that you know some women feel like maybe they can change a man's mind, or maybe he won't be as serious with somebody, or maybe they just ignore it altogether. I think a lot of women do have this way of of trying to block stuff out like but Nick, don't you think which i know delusion. we're talking something right. we're, 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 this is a different ball game because we know okay we're talking about somebody that's not in the right state of mind they've just been left at the altar before this time the day of the guy just said no i couldn't he, he just didn't want to do that though so then so he have to thank god every day for that but don't you kind of think in this strange way that if you knew in the beginning that he had somebody forget if you thought that it was going to work or you was the best you knew he had somebody you knew this lady was pregnant you knew that they probably was supposed to be getting married two months prior why would you even fool with him in the, in the first place that's the reason why you got all these other things going on a lot of times no, no let me tell you something think she knew initially i think, I think he no i don't think he she got with him initially and 
she knew about the wife. Because I don't think she would have got with him, period. Right? I think it was something that she kind of discovered based on how he was moving. Right? Yeah. Because how you get so mad to the point where you want to kill somebody if you if knew you what it was, soccer, if you knew what it was coming happens. into the situation. And all the time it happens. It happens. All, the time. all the time. And I know Every people, day. they... 95% of the time it yeah. happens. No. Exactly. Because what Trust people me. do... Let me tell you something. Even though... I it, think it was something ways. that made her snap. I think it was something that pushed her over the edge mm -mm. where those little tingly feelings Let me were tell you coming. Something. Let me tell you something, right? What I feel like happened in that situation, right... Maybe initially she was like, well, no, I know you got somebody or whatever it is, right? And he kept pursuing her. Maybe, yeah. you know, because they worked together and that little flirty thing or whatever went too far. Because it's easy for stuff to go too far if you see somebody every day. Whether you're going to school, work, whatever it is. If you see the same person all the time, you know, and you, and you guys both have this attraction. If that person finally starts to feed into the stuff that you're saying, something is going to happen. I'm, and I'm sure and I what, think what, that's happened. what happened with them. He's, a, he's already working at the school. Mm -hmm. And then she comes starting to work at the school. Maybe she knew. Maybe she didn't know. I don't know. But how men... One thing I can say about men. They will pursue every single day. They will not give up. They're so Expect strong. Oh, and she was new too? Determined. Yeah. Like you didn't have a chance. Oh, hey. Hey, <laughs> you just how you doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, every day saying something nice, probably smiling. Now what she goes do, call her friend over. Girl, it's this guy. He he already look all that good, but he's a little <laughs> thing. A little, <laughs> little small thing, but he, he like me. You think I should give him a chance because he's every day coming to my classroom and interrupting my class. The students laughing, smiling because kids do amp stuff up there in the mm -hmm. middle school. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Carla, M Mr. Mm -hmm. um, can you, uh, Mr. Pittman li like you? Mm -hmm. She probably that she had already moved from another state. Yeah, but I think a lot raised. of times, yeah, I think a lot of times, even much for people who be then been hurt. A lot they'll get into a, the wrong relationship like you know like they say that rebound type yeah. of thing um because you just want to get over that bad thing that happened so not so much that she probably was you know looking for the right person at the time i think it had a lot to do with like you know wanting but that she out did of her want that love like marriage yeah, husband yeah, and wife course, thing but because I, it, I mean her parents you know yeah but i don't think she was you know I don't think she knew. This is this is what I'm gonna say about situation. I don't think she knew. I think it was something that she found out about, you know, maybe earlier on, whatever, and she went with it because she was such a, in a bad space emotionally, and maybe he already had her hooked, so she felt like she didn't have no other choice but to stay. That's why all of that little sneaky passing notes and all of that, because I don't see you passing notes and doing all of these things if you, you know, you knew about somebody or whatever. You're They're you're doing single. something sneaky. Right? Yeah. If somebody's single, exactly. You're not going to do that if somebody, if you know they're single. I think she got caught up. I think when she found out, she felt like she was already in too deep and she couldn't turn around. And I feel like she started to get, you know, she started to go off the deep end, you know, for the, the closer and closer it got to yeah. them being married and stuff like that. All of them old wounds of her being left at the altar and all of these things and probably come telling back up. Cause I think she said something like her parents met him. Mm -hmm. So for her, it probably was like, okay, my, my people didn't met you and like this cannot be another failed another thing. This just happened. Yeah. Like this just happened to me. But guys, um, I guess we're gonna end this and the only thing that we can say is, you know, look, some things be fun and games and all this other kind of stuff and we know this but the the best thing that I can say is please don't be don't be a Carla if you you know if you already know even if you don't know I don't think going did, did you're not gonna get the person like that it's killing somebody you you're probably it's gonna be exposed All right you'll find out yeah you'll find out mm -hmm. I mean such a loser um I have nothing good to say about her I will never have nothing good to say about her I, I, um I, I, we didn't talk yeah. about the um the dance studio it was being named after her. I've been honored. Her been honored. They, they honored. I, you know, the, the reason why, Jenny, just we didn't mention that because I felt like it was kids that did this and kids don't know no better because I know that there would be no grown people in their right mm. state of mind okay, yeah. that, that would know sense. that you murdered a, a innocent woman 
five months pregnant with another life inside of you to honor that. So I know the kids just, they was missing her uh, or something. I, I, cause I, yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna, There's I, no I can't. Way. Yeah. That yeah. an That's adult true. or yeah. adults would condone Yeah, that. they wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. So Carla is a loser and, um, you're in there. I hope you stay in there. You're going to stay in there and you get what you get. I hate that, um, Avis Banks died. And then I also hate Keon that you, you know, you did the dirt and you did the damage. Then a whole next following year, you go and get, get, Get married just as if nothing ever happened. I hate the whole situation. You're buying my disease. I play. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This is 